Just a juicy. And welcome to another video on Minecraft World. And today I have come to relive my world because um, every person who makes a Minecraft world names it. And every time I do an intro, I say hello, this is Juicy, and welcome to another video on my Let's Play. Which sounds a bit dull and boring, doesn't it? So you know what? I came up with a name for my world and are you ready to to see what it's called? I haven't I'm not gonna I haven't put put in the title or in the description of the video so you are about to find out right now without any spoilers. So the name for my world is called Drumroll Jesse's Beautiful World Cause you know the world does look quite beautiful, doesn't it? Look at it, it's getting more and more beautiful every day. Especially with all the buildings I've, I've put in it. If I didn't uh, add any buildings into my world like that, my world won't be as beautiful. It would be like, it would be being called JC's ugly world or something. But my world's never been ugly, it's always been beautiful. So yeah, uh, if you don't mind guys, we're going to start the intro again with my new world name. My new Minecraft world name. Okay. <laughs> Hello, this is Jesse, and welcome to another video on Minecraft. And today we are playing on Jesse's beautiful world. And as usual, we are going to go to the Hall of Fame, and we're going to see who we're adding to it today. And today we are adding Manny Moose. And the reason we're adding him is because he said to me on my video, "Hi." Not because of that, because they also said to me they wanted to collab with me and that would be a pretty good idea and in the future we'll do some videos at some point but I'm not going to be joined by him today. He also allowed me to join in his Minecraft um, world. So yeah, thank you so much Marnie Moose and welcome to my Hall of Fame. And that is the main reason actually. And also, it, uh, if, you can't, if you cannot tell, Manny Moose does have 90 subs, so if you type in Manny Moose on YouTube, it, it, I'm sure it'll be quite easy to find. Like, his icon picture is is, is a moose, so once you type in Manny Moose, uh, I'm sure you'll find it straight away. So yeah, hello pets, how are you guys today? Did you have a good night last night? Good. I'm going to get the randomizer. I'm going to see which pet I'll be taking today. And today we are going to be taking Callum, our new dog. And um, you know we did get him in the last episode, and we know we should have took him last episode, but we got another dog on the randomizer. So Callum can come with me. And um, unfortunately, I won't be joining anyone today, so we can't play the Slender Man game today. But hopefully in the, in the next episode, well not in the next episode, but hopefully we'll have to play the game on Halloween because um, Halloween's just around the corner. Halloween will be in about five days. So uh, yeah, but I'm all, uh, but um, while we're not being joined by anyone today, I'm just going to be showing you what I've been getting up to. So let's just come up this path like this. And as you can see, there is something on the horizon that I've been working on. And today, or I'm going to show you guys, that I've made a theme park sign. And um, the reason I've got a theme park is because this guy named Calamity Joe told me to put all my mini games. In, uh, he said to me that he wanted me to make an entire theme park full of mini games, or all mini games I have built. But it's silly just to demolish them all and just put them in the theme park because that's going to be too hard. And I'm kind of stuck with it now, aren't I? So from now on, when I build a mini game or a ride or whatever, I'm going to put it in the theme park just for you, Calvin and Joe. And he thinks it's a really good idea for that. So. Yeah, I guess free pin bowling is kind of a mini game. Well, it's more of a sport, basically. That's kind of more of a race, but it's it could be for a theme park. 
that is a mini game of course. And then over there, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but right over there is, a good, is my um, go kart crazy um, uh, racing track. Go kart track. Well, that's not a mini game, but it's just like more of a race. But it could be in my theme park, but I can't just demolish it, just put it back in there. Otherwise, I'm stuck with it, aren't I? I've spent so long building it, so it's a waste just to get rid of it. And also, if you couldn't tell, I um, built the sign in my colours. So, yeah, I thought that I wasn't going to have any, more, any space to put park on over there. So, I thought when I put back park below, so I made the sign a bit bigger than expected. And um, if you couldn't tell, there's a different, um, uh, yeah, um, path. Because this oak wooden path is, is for the town, but this uh, 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 nice looking path here is for the theme park. Now there's going to be uh, mini games along here, mini games on here. You never know, there might be rides, I might do some rides or something if I'm bored of doing mini games. But we'll see what kind of mini games I get up with doing. And, um, even though some of you guys, if I do build some mini games that other people might have built, then uh, that doesn't mean I'm copying them, guys. That means that I'm just inspiring them or just getting some ideas of what to build. And as you can see over here, we have the Slenderman game, and it has quite changed a little bit. So, as you can tell in the last episode, the trees did not grow, and the reason for that is because the game wasn't high enough. So I had to make the game a bit higher, I had to make the walls a bit higher, sorry. And now it, it's 17 blocks high. It's about that, it's not It's not a definite 17 blocks high, but it's about that. And at the time, it was 4 blocks high. And then I've added the path straight to here, which says Slenderman. And now you can see the go Crap crazy track. Now you can see it. Well, only slightly, you can only see a bit of outside of it. And um, yeah, what do you think of my game calendar? Do you like it? Good. Do you like the world? Do you think I've put lots of effort into it? Good and great. You are very welcome in this world and you're welcome to join me on several occasions. Hopefully Halloween. Well, uh, I'll um, be getting different dogs and randomise at all times. So yeah, I might be joined by another dog, but this is your first trip in my world, basically. And before I show you over there, we will actually go inside of the game, so I call it Slenderman. And, um, and yeah, as you can see uh, here, some of the trees are quite low, but I've made the ceiling a bit too high. The reason for this is because uh, quite a few trees were absolutely massive. And that tree over there, or those trees, sorry, are well massive, uh, uh, but... Uh, whilst these trees are very small that one's massive and that's gone right up into the ceiling so i had to work out which tree was the massive was the biggest so i had to put um the piece of wool on top of that tree and now uh that's why it's so high basically if all the trees were this height it would have been about about 10 blocks high something it might have been less but as you can see, I have added in quite a few trees, well, quite a lot of trees actually, but there's quite a few pieces of grass here that I placed by mistake. And it's absolutely pitch black. The only piece of light I'd be able to see is, uh, yeah, the door, but, um, well, it's quite light to be honest. It's, it's quite dark, but it'll be even dark and even scarier if you put it on 50%. Like, trust me, guys, let's put it on 50% right now. Make my own graphics. Okay, I'm gonna put this on for too much long, too much longer. But when we put on fifty percent, look how scary it looks. It's so dark. When we come to play this on Halloween or whenever somebody wants to play with me, this is gonna be absolutely scary. But for now, let's just put it back on hundred percent because it looks absolutely terrifying. This is not a day to be terrifying. On Halloween it will be though, so I'll be well. We might see Slenderman, but. Who knows, we might, uh, we might not see him. We might have a successful Halloween day and then you can easily hide in these trees. Well, it might be a bit difficult, but uh, 
You could try and hide him from these trees. He's like, oh no, in Slenderman, you've got like you have you've got like pieces of paper and stuff. But in this, you've just got to hide from him, like like so. Like you have to hide like in the trees and try to blend in. I guess it'll be easy for you if you went in the camo camo skin, a camouflage skin. Do this camouflage skin challenge. If you're trying to camouflage something, you might have an advantage, but if you're wearing a skin like this, it probably won't happen. I don't think I have a tree skin in my door, I don't I don't think I do. But yeah, here's a Slenderman game. And it's so glory. This is what I can show you at the moment. Now here are some beds. And now it might be when I did set the spawn. But when you're playing the game it is, but we're not gonna play the game today. So there's no one playing, so yeah, we're gonna we're not gonna set our spawn here. But we will we'll play the game though, because if we die, we're gonna respawn somewhere random or we could yeah, we know where we can respawn, we could respawn anywhere. So if we die in the game, we we can easily respawn here and continue with the game or if you if you die then um yeah you're gonna have to start a new game aren't you and um, before we end the, off the episode we are going to basically read the rules of the game and how to play so then you guys know the game off by heart and then hopefully you might want to play this with me guys which will be very lovely indeed and yeah let's go see what um uh how to play them so how to play there are two roles the killer and the runner the killer will have a diamond sword and night vision potion while the runner is in pitch black the killer will have three minutes to kill the runner and must wait outside 15 seconds so the runner really has two minutes and 45 seconds not to get caught by slenderman and a put to slenderman if the killer kills the runner and they still have night vision they win but if they don't find the runner and night vision wears off, then the runner wins. Do you get that now, guys? And here we've got diamond swords and night vision. I've got 27 of these each, so they'll probably last a lifetime. I know I always have a sword in my inventory, but that don't mean I'll be using it in the game. When I'm playing the game, though, I'm not going to have it in my hands. Trust me, I won't have it in my hands, but when I'm not playing the game, I'll either have my sword in my hands or either but having a building material in my hands when I'm building and stuff. But yeah, that is basically going to be the end of this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Well, I know it's a pity not to play Slenderman today, but hopefully we'll play it on Halloween if somebody is reliable to join in the game. But for now being said, thank you so much, Cal, for um, joining me today. Thank you guys so much for watching today and hopefully I shall see you all guys later. Goodbye!